Hey everybody, Bill here, Restored Hot Rods. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the transmission back out of the GMC and rebuild it. Got my table off, it off here. Have you ever used one of these jacks? In theory they work really good, but when you get the transmission up on there, you got it up, you can't get out from the car without jacking the car up, and you always got the end to support it, so it never works. So, I got a piece of plywood on the floor jack. So I'm just kidding, I'm just gonna unbutton it, drop it down, slide it over here, and hassle it up, and get up here on the bench. That's the only way I know to do it. Yeah, that's the only way to have to do it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. There's other ways you can build little slings and jacks to drop it on the floor and pick it up, roll it around. I'm impatient. I don't want it on the bench today. So I got one more bolt holding it. And I should probably take this adapter off here first. That's a pretty good chunk of metal right there. Getting ready here. We got one bolt holding it. Of course. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here, you dirty, dirty rotten scoundrel. Thought I was going to say something bad, huh? Well, I thought about it. I want this thing on the... Okay, that's up. No falling over. Wants to. And down we come. I like doing the balancing act. Nice and slow. Really, really, really slow. I'm probably right in the way of the camera. That's okay. It's just the way it is. You gonna stay there? Maybe. Ow. Try to take as short a lift as possible. Whoa, Eddie. Okay. 
No Olympic sport transmission pressing. Hazel's, Hazel's big help. Look at this sludge. What are these? What is that? A seed? Nice. What about a filter? Doesn't feel like it's just, I think it's just debris sitting out in a yard. I don't know how I'm going to tell. Well, that won't really tell us much. Let's try putting a magnet on it. Well, that's not good. It's all magnetic. Hmm. Okay. Well. What next? Okay. Now, full disclosure. I am not. A transmission repair guy. I read a book, I follow pictures, and I've had good luck. It's not that tough. Let's see. I take a lot of pictures. Pretty sure these are all the same size. same size. I think I got them all. Yep. That little S-hook thingy goes right there. One valve body. Dirty. That little less up in the air. I already got, took pictures of this, plus I got this video. And this. Little servo doohickey. I'm not going to crazy high performance on this or anything like that. I'm just going to get her done. Four-wheel drive, don't have to be crazy. And if you are going to attempt to do one of these, when I miss, oh, I missed one. I strongly suggest you set up a video just like this and videotape the whole thing. It makes it really easy to go back on.
Okay. Now, take this shift mechanism out of here. This is the shifter detent. Wow, really? Okay, gotta get a wrench. This little thing here is just your little click, click, click when you're shifting. Wow. You need to turn this loose because this is your parking paw right here. Come on. Let's see, in this, there's a bushing in here to change. Oh, that's right. There's a little clip in here. You pull out. You say you gotta take that nut loose there. Probably five, <coughs> five eighths, is not better. <coughs> Probably should have done that before. There's a seal right there you gotta change. Then loosen it up. Jeez, Louise, come on now. There it is. There it is. Whenever I'm doing something like this, as much as possible, put things right back together like that. Because I have been known to get things skewed. Vacuum modulator, right here. That's a red stripe one, so that's supposed to be a good one. Of course, that bracket's on backwards. Modulator, yep, little valve in there. Needle nose. That is actually your modulator valve. And that's got a little hole in the end of it. But you got to make sure it's clear. Can't see it. But it's down inside there. This will clip. Bolt. First thing I did was wipe out the pan real good and I'm putting all the little small pieces back in the pan so I can't lose them. So, what else? What's next? Let's see. This is your, I think it's a second gear accumulator, which means little piston that pushes it. There's a little bitty hole in there you can push in. Drive it in there a little bit. And you can get behind that ring.
จะมาครับนี่เลยครับ and this should got a big spring behind it Sometimes they leave the spring out, gives you harder second gear shifts. Drive it in there a little bit, and you can get behind that ring. There it is. And this should got a big spring behind it. Sometimes they leave the spring out. Gives you harder second gear shifts. Usually, if you bang on it, you can loosen it up enough it'll pop out. But it's not going. It's not going to cooperate. Of course. Moving. Yeah, dirt. Now there's a spring. Spring, O-ring. Coming. These usually come out pretty easy. There it is. Got a. That actually has a steel washer on it. Steel seal. Steel seal. Two of them. What you can replace? Okay, parts and pieces. Start piling stuff over there. And what else do I got to do? Oh, take the uh, governor. Hi, governor. Governor. That's the governor. Not much to it. Centrifugal force spreads this out. Two of the holes, I think it's two, in the pump are threaded oversized. You can put a bolt in there. You can catch the head of the bolt with some kind of slide hammer.
And there's your pump. I guess first thing you want to do is check to see if the pump's any good. When you take these, the pumps out, it's, it'll only go one way. The bolts are lined up. There's a series of holes that line up that correspond with these holes. It's pretty. It's really self-explanatory. You can't really mess that up. Well, I guess you could. Pump has some part. And it's real important right in here that this is flat, not worn. Feels pretty good. And this is the pump here. Oh, I took these stupid bolts in here. Tear it down pretty easy. Put it back together. I got to go buy the book. Look at the book. This comes straight up like that. See the little reference mark, little dot. You have to be able to see that. There's one on this one too. This gear. See when these are when these are going, they're going like this. The torque converter's hooked up to the flywheel and spinning it like this. Picks up oil, compresses it, pushes it in one oil, passes it. Come on. That will come out. There it goes, like that, like that. And this system in here, if this is all worn, if there's if there's steps in it, you might need a new one. This is clean. I don't feel any steps in it. Feels good. Now there's a bushing in here, right here. This bushing needs to get will get changed. But right now all I'm doing is tearing it down. So I'm gonna put stuff back where it came from. I mean that has a seal there, rubber, the rubber there too. And that rubber's not too bad. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting, I got a shelf set up over here. I'm gonna start putting stuff over there to get out of my way. Okay, now, come on out of there. little hook tool comes in really handy when you're doing this. Come on, come on. Good eyeballs are even better. Clutch disc. Doesn't look bad. Those discs look pretty good, actually. When they're worn out, the grooves will be gone. Hmm. Those don't look bad. They don't look terrible. I'll right, put them over here.
one. I've still got a plate in there. As I said, I am no professional. I'm just a guy working with a book in his backyard. This is a pressure plate, big thick one. And you can see there's no hot spots. That's good. Hot spots, then you gotta replace them. You have these, they call them wavies. I don't know if you see that or not, but it's actually bent. It's got little waves in it. And this one looks bent, broken. I don't think they're supposed to be broken. Pretty sure they're not. The band's hanging it up. Uh, what do I do here now? There it is. Move the band. I don't see anything horrible. I'm not sure how much play. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm not sure how much play is supposed to be in there. Snap ring. Pressure disc. Good. Take out all the clutches. Now we got hot spots there. Oh yeah, see all those hot spots there? It's been chattering. That's not good. You know that disc there? All the ribs are almost worn off of it. Shot. Worn out. More hot spots all the way around it. You know, these are toast. And this has got another snap ring here. You gotta compress this spring. You gotta compress this to get to the snap ring to get to the plunger in there. All I'm doing now is taking it apart to see if there's any extra pieces I got. I got all new uh, discs and plates. Look at that, a lot of hot spots on that one. This sucker's toast. It's cooked. Cooked, baby. Okay, there's that one. There's a bearing. Feels good. Now these things, you gotta be really careful when you put these things back together. They're directional. 
Do another bushing in there. That goes over that. Wow, there's another more discs. See how much plays in there? They're toast. They are fried. Planetary. That's just a plastic wash, a plastic dish, disc for a spacer. Should get another one. Then another disc. Oh, that's that one snap ring. There's a snap ring in here I gotta get out. It's a real bear. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, now Clutch disc. Doesn't look bad. Those discs look pretty good, actually. When they're worn out, the grooves will be gone. <laughs> Those don't look bad. They don't look terrible. As I said, I am no professional. I'm just a guy working with a book in his backyard. This is a pressure plate, big thick one. And you can see there's no hot spots. That's good. Then you have these, they call them wavies. I don't know if you see that or not, but it's actually bent. It's got little waves in it. And this one looks bent, broken. I don't think they're supposed to be broken. Pretty sure they're not. Oh, the band's hanging it up. Uh, what do I do here now? There it is. Where's the band? I don't see anything horrible. Snap ring, pressure disc, good. Take out all the clutches. Now we got hot spots there. Oh yeah, see all those hot spots there? It's been chattering. That's not good. You know that disc there? All the ribs are almost worn off of it. Shot. Worn out. More hot spots all the way around it. You know, these are toast. And this has got another snap ring here. You gotta compress this spring. You gotta compress this to get to the snap ring to get to the plunger in there.
All I'm going to do is now I take it apart and see if there's any extra pieces I got. I got all new uh, discs and plates. Look at those, a lot of hot spots on that one. This sucker's toast. It's cooked. Cooked, baby. Okay, there's that one. There's a bearing. Feels good. Now these things, you gotta be really careful when you put these things back together. They're directional. You do another bushing in there. That goes over there. Wow, there's another more discs. See how much plays in there? They're toast. They are fried. Planetary. That's just a plastic wash, a plastic dish, disc for a spacer. Should get another one. Then another disc. Oh, that's that one snap ring. There's a snap ring in here I gotta get out. It's a real bear. Okay, so I just spent about 20 minutes getting that little snap ring out of there. That's a bear. I ended up having to... Is that them? No. No. Take a, these are a cheap pair of snap ring pliers. Let's see, I ground them. I ground them down to that point. There's not much room in there. That's a tough one. Everybody will tell you that. Okay, got that little clip out of there. Been all the time looking for my flashlight and it's sitting right there. <laughs> come on, you should come out. There you go. Just had to reach, pull forward and bump it a little bit. A little burr on the spline. This is one of your planetary gears. These just gotta, you wanna make sure they're not, these aren't rocking in there, in there. They feel pretty tight. They're not bad. I'll put them back in here where they mate. I don't wanna get too many parts and pieces spread all over the place. There we go. And don't lose these little washers. One here, one on the, other, one on the in, inside in here. Then, that's your sun shell. Let's get another little spacer, plastic spacer. The bushings inside here need to be changed. That's got a little bit of play in it, but that's normal, they all do. You can buy a new one, Sonax made one. They're pretty expensive, hundred and something dollars. But if unless you, if it's just a driver, I don't think you need it. But that's just my opinion. I'm gonna go back and do it like that. There it comes. There it comes. Does that big snap ring? That was it. Let me pour out. Sprag, that's a one-way clutch. Only rolls one direction. 
they're awkward. get in straight it goes right in there it is there it is. goes right in and there's our our other clutches that one's fried Wow, look at that. That one there is all the way down. It's all completely gone. That's where our metal is coming from. I was looking for that. These are completely shot. That disc material, that disc, that's worn out. That's got all the fiber gone off of it. Totally shot. Yeah, that'll have to go for second hand there. Come on. Another bearing. Get back in there. Get things mixed up. That disc. <laughs> Got paper on that side. Metal on that side. Completely gone. Another planetary gear. We got no wobbles. Feel pretty good. Bushings in there. Yeah, another bushing right there. This has a plastic bushing right there to center it. The other one that goes into it. Got a bearing. So, everything looks in good shape. This is your output shaft. Everything in good shape except for the clutches. The clutches are all shot. So, that's good. That's a pressure plate. Just like any clutch. Yeah, those are toast. Those are toast. Garbage. There's our inner rattle clip. It only goes in one place. Now I got another. Oh. Must, oh, that's a. That's another one of those. And the other piston that applies that is in here. And that one comes out how?
I think it should have come out with the other one. Yeah, no. Can't push on it there, it's pushing. I'll have to look it up. I don't remember. Now look at that. That one there is all the way down. It's all completely gone. That's where our metal is coming from. I was looking for that. These are completely shot. That disc material, that disc, that's worn out. That's got all the fiber gone off of it. Totally shot. Yeah, that'll have to go for second hand there. Come on. bearing get back in there get things mixed up that disc <laughs> got paper on that side metal on that side completely gone another planetary gear we got no wobbles feel pretty good bushings in there Yeah, another bushing right there. This has a plastic bushing right there to center it. The other one that goes into it. Got a bearing. So, everything looks in good shape. This is the output shaft. Everything in good shape except for the clutches. The clutches are all shot. So, that's good. That's a pressure plate. Just like any clutch. And the other piston that applies that is in here. And to get this snap ring here off, around there, get a contraption like this. That these ears here actually hook on the inside of the case. You see that clamp in there? That ring with the little holes in it, there's a spring around each one of those holes. And it's trapped inside there. You take that spring off, you're not careful. That gold ring with the holes in it will get stuck. It'll get caught in where the snap ring came out of. And you pull the thing off. You pull the bracket off. And uh, everything goes flying. But, see here. Yeah, I can move that now. I don't know. You can see it or not, but I can see it. So let me pull it out of there. Come back to me now. I have a, I've done one of the. I've been about a year since I did one. I did the rebuilt the one the fifty one. No, loosen it, Bill. There. 
it goes. See, there's a little ring. There's all the springs. You got to compress to get that snap ring off. Oh, I got lucky. When that comes out. And there's your seals, and they're hard. And seal there, there, and one in there. And that's the end of this assembly.